morning, everybody. It's Renee from Tailspin Farm, and I am coming from you in front of the fireplace this morning because we are back at cold weather again today. It has been in the 40s and 50s, close to, um, we had a, a nice, beautiful 50 degree day this weekend. Um, but this morning we woke up to snow on the ground. Um, it's not supposed to last, so that's a good thing. And I know spring is coming. Um, we did our clock change thing this last weekend, which drives me crazy. I wish they'd just, I'm in a good time zone right here. Um, I wish they'd stop changing it. Um, but I was able to get into the greenhouse on Monday and I got some of our seeds started. Um, and I'll probably do a video of that. It's not rabbit related, but it kind of is because all of my um, rabbit manure and stuff does go on our gardens. And I can show you the greenhouse when I show you that here in a few weeks. Um, but I wanted to pop on today and do a quick story um, and a quick demonstration um, that goes along with that story. So when, and if you hear quick clacking in the back, that's the dogs. Um, that's part of our life here is animals. So um, when I first got into, um, again, I've been a crocheter for 30 years. Um, and then uh, over 15 years ago, we had a local yarn shop where we were living. Um, and I've talked about this in other videos that offered a drop spindle class. And so I went and took a drop spindle class because it went along the lines of, I just loved yarn and I loved crocheting and um, I love lost arts. I love the old things anything to do with with things people used to do. Um, I love and I try to learn as much of that as I can. And so I took the drop spindle class and when I was in the class, there was a, a woman there that was actually there for a purpose. She had, I think she had like nine cats and they were all fluffy cats. And she said she had bags and bags and bags of their fur, their fiber that she had been saving. Um, and she was at the drop spindle class to specifically learn how to spin so she could spin her cat fur. Which at that point I had never even seen and I didn't even know Angora rabbits existed. Um, my realm of yarn was, you know, acrylic from the Walmart craft section. Um, and Again, this was pre, you know, 15, 16 years ago. It's probably been longer than that now. Um, but this was pre-YouTube, pre-Instagram, pre-Facebook. So the knowledge that I found came from magazines. Um, the internet was out there, but it, was, it wasn't anything like it is today. So I, I gathered books and magazines and things like that to learn or talk to other people. So when she said, she wanted to learn to spin her cat fiber. I thought she was a little crazy um, because my realm of what I knew of yarn was sheep. That was it. And of course, now I know that's not true at all. Um, and so she did the class and about six months later it was, I can't remember exactly, I was in the shop and talking to the owner and the owner said, do you remember the lady with the cats and I said of course and she said would you believe she was in here last week with a full-length sweater coat that she had fully drop spindled out of her cat fur and then knitted and I was in awe because I just thought that was so crazy um, of course now 17 years later the internet has evolved YouTube um, and you learn that there are so many animals that you can spin from. Um, pretty much anything that has a soft, um, not coarse fiber can be spun. And so yesterday I did a library program um, at one of the, not a local library here, but from where we used to live, I did a, a children's program last night and um, I took in a rabbit and my spinning wheel and my drop spindles and just did about an hour long demonstration for four to eight year olds. And um, 
so I was packing up all my stuff yesterday and I pulled out my drop spindle because I don't spin much on these anymore um, just because of time and I have I've been spoiled by a wheel now um, but it's always fun to, for me to get back into these um, because it is you know it's one of those lost arts that I love and I can still do and so I was um, practicing on my drop spindle and as I was packing I came across a bag of fiber that I had and it dawned on me that this was actually our dog's fiber. Um, we have a border collie. We have a chocolate lab. That's the one clicking over there. Um, of course, chocolate labs, any kind of lab like that, um, you could not spin their fiber. It's too short. Um, but a border collie, um, a golden retriever, great Pyrenees, anything that you can get soft fiber from. Let me see if I can. No, nope, I was gonna see if I could flip the camera to show you Willow. Um, Willow, come here. Willow, come here. She's not a real, right here. Willow, right here. Oh, I'm gonna get both of them. So she is not, not at the, there. That's Willow, that's our border collie. This is Maggie, our lab that we love. Um, she doesn't have a ton of long fiber. My tripod broke on me this morning before I was doing this, so I kind of got it jerry rigged. I hope it lasts. So she doesn't have super long fiber. Like I know great Pyrenees would be amazing to spin. A golden retriever would be amazing to spin. Um, but I did get enough off and I just wanted to show you um, that I have been spinning dog fiber let's see and it essentially looks like yarn and people might go ooh but you know it's off an animal in like all my rabbits sheep anything alpacas goats um, you take oftentimes you do take raw fleece and wash it when you're done so um, I'm noticing as I'm drop spindling and this might be different on my wheel I'll have to try it um, that it isn't super strong. Um, these are shorter pieces, but it it is spinning up. Um, and I would I'm hopeful to get enough fiber or enough yarn. I would love to make something. Willow's kind of my dog, um, so I would love to have something so that when Willow someday is gone. Um, hopefully it won't be, look up, baby. Maggie. Um, hopefully it won't be anytime soon, but that I will actually have something of her that I can, you know, a scarf or whatever it might be. So I just wanted to pop on and tell that story of the lady and her cats and just show you um, what kinds of fibers you can spin and what they actually look like when you are drop spindling um, it's just kind of an, a neat thing there we go and if my uh, if my tripod was not broken right now I would stand up with this and show you a little bit more but I don't want to mess with it so you get the gist of it though um, so if you are looking to learn a new skill or craft and um, don't have hundreds of dollars to spend on a spinning wheel. I really recommend that you get a drop spindle. There's lots of um, how-to YouTube videos. Um, you don't even have to go somewhere and take a class. You can learn on YouTube. I know Erin over at Crafty Housewife Yarns has, I think she has a full drop spindle. Um, she might even have a course or a class, but I think she has a video on how to drop spindle. But essentially, you have a leader um, and you are just spinning your fiber onto your drop spindle. And you can make your own yarn. And if any woman can take nine cats and drop spindle enough yarn to make a full length coat, I think.
think anybody can do it. Um, I, I just think it's one of those skills you just have to keep practicing at to learn, but it's, it's something, and it is relaxing. Um, so it's just a lot slower than my wheel. So I think that's it from here today. I just wanted to pop on, and if any of you would like to see a longer, um, I have more drop, there are different styles of drop spindles. Um, if anyone would like to see a longer video on how to drop spindle, um, put it down below and I would, I would do that, um, for my channel. Um, and these are fairly inexpensive. You can find them all over Etsy. I know, I think you can order them off Amazon, even the Ashford, this one's an Ashford one. Um, this is a student spindle, I believe. This is a top whirl. Um, I have bottom whirl ones. You can make your own, very inexpensive. If you'd like to see a video about that, I could do that. Um, but these are a really inexpensive way to get started into spinning. And again, if you get the hang of it, you can spin a lot on a drop spindle. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous day. Um, that you are creating something today and I will be back hopefully soon with another video. You can check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I am at Tailspin Farm and if you like these videos please subscribe and then there's a little bell you can hit. You would get notifications when I upload another video and like this video. So I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks.